So, all right, guys. So, um, we're going to demonstrate how FortiClient can be um, deployed automatically via FortiClient EMS. Also, this also will enhance the registration. Now, these are FortiClient EMS server. We are using 192.168.10.50 for our server and 192.168.1.254 um, for the client um, system that we are deploying to. So the EMS um, server has been, has been freshly installed and you can see that there is no endpoint that has been deployed or connected to it already. So the first thing to do is to join our EB server to the first client uh, EMS so that we can be able to import all our users to um, the EMS. So we go to endpoint, uh, manage um, domains, then you add um, your domain. Provide the IP address. The IP address of um, the ED is still the same with the uh, first client EMS server. That's where we install the uh, first client EMS on. So it's all like 10.50. Just for the sake of it, it might not really need to be so in your own environment. Then the port is 389, um, as, 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 as it were. And um, signature name is uh, optional. Um, regular name. Um, so we choose webinar and we provide the username and password. So the username and password is um, the user account or admin account in, in our IED that has rights to for that has been a right um, permission on, on our IED. So we provide the username um, and, and the password. And after that, we also um, test and see now it's connected. You can see. That this is really important. We have 21 devices and um, 39 users already. Um, so, since our ID has been connected, the next thing we want to do is to um, prepare the ID server by, uh, by enabling some services um, on the group um, policy uh, manager, management editor. So, um, so, on your Windows um, search bar, um, just um, type group um, policy management, then um, the windows will pop up. Then um, under the domain uh, name, you see the default um, domains um, policy there. You right click, right click it, then edit. Edit. The first thing you want to do is to go to the uh, computer management, uh, computer configuration, then. Then go to um, policies, then um, Windows settings, and we go to system settings. What we want to enable is the uh, want to set some three services here um, to so the task scheduler has to, has to be set to automatic. I click it, then set to automatic apply and OK. Then we look for um, the Windows installer. And um, we set that to manual, um, and uh, we apply. Um, okay. The next one is remote registry, and we have to set that one to automatic as well. Um, properties automatic and apply. Okay. So the next one we are looking uh, for to is um, the Windows firewall with advanced um, security um, setting. Then I uh, want to be able to enable some inbound room, uh, some ports, um, so that there will be free flow of communication between the client and the EMS server. So these are all we have to create new um, new rules and also just be able to enable all um, enable all these, allow all these ports and and um, yeah and protocols on on the firewall here. I've told you before that's why I wasn't if I'm not doing it again. So you just have to ensure this are uh, allowed. Then um, the next one um, is to um, go to the administrative template policy. We are going to the network um, connection, um, network and network connections, um, and um, the, go to domain profile. Then on the domain profile, <coughs> we are going to allow 
some um, some ports here also, like the inbound <coughs> administration, <coughs> allow inbound remote uh, administration administration exception. So here, yeah, yeah, check the enable box and type in the IP address of the ENS server in that um, box and click um, OK. Apply, then OK. So um, the next one um, is, is the um, <coughs> allow um, which other one? Allow remote uh, desktop exception edit. Um, enable the um, enable the um, the box and type in the IP address of the EMS server. Apply then uh, OK. The next one also we are enabling here is um, um, what's it called? The allow inborn um, file and printer share in the section. So enable it <coughs> then impute the IP address of the EMS server and um, apply and OK. Then the last one is the ICMP, um, allow ICMP um, exception. What we just need to do here is to enable that and uh, uh, ensure that the allow echo request is also checked in that box. Then, <coughs> OK. And um, I think we are fine with this. Then we have to enforce, uh, we need to enforce the the, group, uh, the default group policy so that it can be, it can take it down if it's effective. So just enforce and uh, close it. Then, um, so the next thing um, is to run um, a command on our client machine. So on our client machine, um, just um, press Windows key and have um, together give us this, then impute um, this in that gp um, that's gp result.exe slash gp result. I've already run, run this command before, that's why I'm getting this error. But uh, if you're running it for the first time on, on, on the client, on the, on the on your laptop or on the system you're deploying to, it won't give you this error. So, um, um, let's go back to our 40 client EMS um, um, server. So um, we want to create the de deployment installer. The first thing is to um, create our 40 client um, installer. So um, here we we'll go to and add new. So we'll be using the official release and we'll be using the latest, latest version. We can also keep uh, uh, keep the updates patches uh, enabled. And next, um, we have to name it. Name it uh, for the client um, um, deployment. You can give it any name depending on, on your choice. Next, then uh, these are the features that will, will be installed along with the default client um, installation. But you can choose not to depending on what you purchased in your license. So I, I, I chose to um, enable all for myself. So you can, you can also. Um, disable some if you don't need them. Yeah, we also click check all these and um, the, the endpoint profile. You can choose default or a custom, a customized um, profile which you've already done before. It doesn't matter. But yeah, we'll choose the one I've done, which is the test um, endpoint profile. Then we'll finish. Then we. Okay, um, there is one more thing we need to do on the client system, which we are deploying for the clients automatically. So just go to the client system and um, and um, we need to enable some services. So on the client system, use the window, Windows key and R together and type services.msc. Then you bring out this, the services on as running all the services running on your Windows machine. So we need to enable um, this tax scheduler uh, on this machine is already running. We don't need uh, we don't need to um, set it again. This is already running. You can see the tax scheduler running and all that. So the second one we want to check also um, is already running. So the second one we want to check also is the Windows. Um, Installer, Windows installer. We have to check whether it's running on the system. 
you can see it's not running we have to start this uh, windows installer and ensure that is running on our client's um, um, system and the remote registry also we have to ensure that that one also is running also so we start them on our plant machine then click ok then after this we go to our ems go to manage deployment we create a policy or a rule for our deployment uh, so so before that let's create a group um in which the client will belong to because we don't want to deploy um to to uh, to all the systems all the laptops within this computer group because if we push it to this group <coughs> what client will be installed on all the systems and we don't want that so we need to create a group just and select and move our, all the clients to that group so that um, first client can be created, uh, can be um, deployed on that system. So this group we are creating is not going to reflect on your on your AD. So you right click on any of this group, then you um, you name it as um, test or any any name. Um, it's not going to reflect on the AD server um, from your hand. It's just a group that is created on the EMS server with, within the domain. Then um, the 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 computer we are deploying to, we have to move that system to that group so that if it's going to be usable for us in our way that we want to create. So we click this is the PC we are trying to deploy to. When you click click it, you will see this tab move to then move move it to the group we just um, created. Then. Um, that's when we can now even um, create our will at manage um, deployment. So we go back. So now it has it, this particular system is now in this particular group. So we go back to manage deployment, then create add. You can give it any name. Then in this, give it any name. Um, yeah, in this, um, we scroll down so we look for the group we just created which is this check it save it then install um don't forget that in that group it's only one system we are deploying so we are check all this restarting and all that but we want to also schedule um, schedule schedule um, the time for for the installation so that we can we can monitor it so if we put it at um 40 it can only be scheduled maybe maybe in 10 minutes time to the creation of this policy in, you know probably seven 10 minutes time so put 12 dots you no know? then the username um and password have to be the domains um back back slash then the admin um the service account um that has a uh, read and write um access then um, the next thing for us is to wait the deploy for the deployment. The aim of this deployment is that um, 40 clients will not restart our system that we are deploying to in the process of installation or deployment. We don't want that and it's going to happen here. So now we just monitor this um, account and see the progress of the installation.
So um, this has been successful. Okay, uh, this has been successfully installed on my um, Windows um, machine without having to restart my system. You can see for the clean shortcut here, and I will just open it and see if it is if it's successfully registered with the EMS. So um, I'll open this now. Um, see um this can see connected this has successfully connected automatically without having to manually impute ip address of the ems on the uh for the clients in the machine so this is my name and uh, my pc and all the details involved so thank you for um, watching if you have any question please put it down in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe